Dear students, let us now discuss about this plastic deformation and yield criteria. So, we know that when the deformation is possible in the material, when the stresses induced in the material exceeds the yield strength of that material, the material undergoing deformation. But this behavior is basically is limited for the uniaxial loading conditions. But if you talk about the metal forming where there is, we cannot say that there will be the always uniaxial loading condition. So of course for that reason we have to fix the criteria for yielding of this material. And of course there are many criteria for that but our discussion will be limited to the uh, two criteria that is stress cast criteria and second we will talk about this word myself distortion uh, energy theory isn't it so let us see the first criteria that is the stress cast criteria which is proposed in 1916-65 so what this criteria says that the material is going to yield unless and until this maximum shear stress value reaches to a critical or certain value. Okay, and that certain value is nothing but what? The yield shear strength. The yield shear strength of the material. So, if we have, suppose, sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 are the three principal stresses on the plane such a that say sigma 1 is greater than equal to sigma 2 is greater than equal to sigma 3. These are the three principal stresses and what stress cast is saying the maximum value of the shear stress reaches to the that limiting value and that limiting value is nothing but what the shear yield strength of the material say tau max will be reaching to the limiting value and limiting value will be what this k k is nothing but your k is equal to yield shear strength yield shear strength okay now see here if we are having these three principal stresses, then tell me what is the maximum shear stress value here? It will be sigma 1 minus sigma 3 maximum minus minimum divided by 2. So this is our maximum shear stress tau max. And by the criteria, when this tau max reaches to the this k value, the yielding is going to occur. Okay, this is the Triscus criteria. Okay, now from this uh, criteria of Tresca's criteria, it is now well seen to us that this criteria is depending upon the extreme values, maximum, minimum value of the principal stresses. It is independent on the intermediate stress. That is very much clear from this Tresca's criteria. So that is, it is independent on what? The intermediate stresses. Now, what this one mises or one mises criteria, criteria says, which was proposed in 1913. So here the yielding is going to occur when the value of this energy, when the shear strain is reaching to the critical value. So here, if I am having the epsilon as a the strain energy per unit volume, if I write like this is equal to 1 upon 6g into bracket sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square. Of course, sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3 are the principal stresses such that this condition is valid that is sigma 1 greater than equal to sigma 2 greater than equal to sigma 3. Now from this criteria it is very much seen that this criteria is dependent on all the three stresses. 
अनलाइक ट्रेसकस में क्या था इनडिपेंडेंट ऑन द इंटरमीडिएट स्ट्रेसेस नाउ से सपोज इफ आई राइट दिस इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल ए देन व्हाट सिक्स जी अगर यहां पे क्या जी प्लीज रिमेम्बर जी इज व्हाट द शेयर मॉड्यूलस इज एंड इट सो सिक्स टाइम्स जी सिक्स टाइम्स जी इंटू ए विच विल आई से दिस इज वन मोर कॉन्स्टेंट सी सो सी इज इक्वल टू वॉट नाउ सी इज इक्वल टू प्लीज रिमेंबर सिग्मा वन माइनस सिग्मा टू होल स्क्वायर प्लस सिग्मा टू माइनस सिग्मा थ्री होल स्क्वायर प्लस सिग्मा थ्री माइनस सिग्मा वन होल स्क्वायर विच इज अवर वैल्यू फॉर दिस सी सी इज इक्वल टू दिस सो से दिस इज कैपिटल इक्वेशन कैपिटल ए नाउ we know that the properties of the material can be well understood when the material is subjected to the uniaxial loading so suppose i am consider here uniaxial tension in that sigma 1 is equal to the yield strength of the material sigma y that is you can also call it as the nominal stress and uniaxial loading mein sigma 2 is equal to sigma 3 is equal to kya hoga zero hoga isn't it so if i have from this stress cut criteria that is tau max kya tha tau max is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 then sigma 3 becomes zero and sigma 1 is equal to sigma yt by 2 so this is in case of the stress cut criteria and by the von mises criteria what i can write here that is the c is equal to sigma 1 now replaced by the sigma yt sigma 2 and sigma 3 becomes zero so that is sigma yt square plus zero plus here sigma yt square so see here i got it as 2 times sigma yt square please very simple and you know that what is equal to c c is what this c is equal to that is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square and that is i can write here this sigma yt sigma yt i can write 1 upon root 2 into bracket 2 idhar aaya to 1 upon root 2 square root leke likh raha hu sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square to the power half so we'll get one more equation very important equation say this is capital b okay so ye baat ho gayi for uniaxial loading and also we have to check the same for the pure torsion pure torsion so in case of pure torsion how this more circle will look like this is shear stress this is the sigma or k it will be look like this where sigma 1 will be equal to k for pure torsion i am talking about and sigma 3 is equal to minus k isn't it so again in the equation number a we can put sigma 1 is equal to k when sigma 2 here now it is zero and sigma 3 is equal to minus k what the value we can get for the c so let us write here the c is equal to the sigma 1 is now k sigma 2 is zero whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 that is minus of minus k whole square plus sigma 3 minus k minus k whole square so what we'll get here This k square plus k square plus two k square that is four k square, isn't it? So we'll get here c is equal to six k square. Okay. So so this is equation number c. Okay. So we know that. So we have written here c is equal to your sigma two sigma y t square. We got this. Isn't it? Two sigma y t square is equal to 
C and here also the 6k square is equal to C. Okay. So what we can write now from this equation. Okay. And this equation both are C. So we can equate this that is 2 sigma yt square is equal to C 6k square. So sigma yt square is equal to what? 3k square. Isn't it? And if you take the root that is we can write k is equal to 1 upon root 3 times sigma yt. Isn't it? And from for the trace cast criteria we can write what can we write for the trace cast criteria? So here tau max is nothing but our k is equal to sigma yt divided by 2. So here k is equal to 0 0.5 times sigma yt by this trace cast criteria we got the value of shear yield strength of the material and here k is equal to 0 0.577 times sigma yt. Okay, so this is very important this criteria for this yielding. Okay, this is the Tresca's criteria and this is the von Mises criteria or this is von Mises distortion energy theory. This is maximum shear stress theory. Now see here when we talk about the plane strain condition. So plane strain condition that is strain in the third direction is zero. That is we are not having any kind of material flow in one direction for example if i take the rolling operation we are not having the flow of the material along its width so the, suppose this is a roll and this is a plates undergoing the deformation between these two rollers so see here what we are assuming that this width of the strip this width of the strip will be constant throughout the operation that is the material will only flow along the lengthwise direction there will not be any sideward flow of the material same condition we are also uh, considering in case of the tube drawing operation in case of the forging operation so this plane strain condition is very very important and for that plane strain condition what we can have we here sigma 1 minus sigma 3 upon 2 is equal to k isn't it by this stress cast criteria so sigma 1 minus sigma 3 will be what 2 times k and k here the two criteria uh, are same that is stress cast criteria the one mysis criteria where k is equal to what 1 upon root 3 times sigma yt isn't it so here this sigma 1 minus sigma 3 will be replaced by c that is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 i can write here we know from the one mysis criteria k is equal to what 1 upon root 3 times sigma yt that is yield strength of the material so i will replace the sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by the sigma y dash okay sigma y dash will be equal to what 2 by root 3 times sigma yt so please remember so whenever the plane strain condition is there whenever plane strain condition is there and we are going for the calculations like the force calculation or power calculation in case where we are taking these processes like forging process, like rolling process, tube drawing process, where the plane strain condition is valid, there the yield strength of the material will be get replaced by the sigma y dash. Okay, no doubt sigma y and sigma y are the yield strength. This sigma y now becomes get replaced by this sigma y dash, where sigma y dash kya hai? It is 2 by root 3 times sigma y. Ki jo 1.15 times kya hai sigma y is strength k barabar. So please remember. So whenever the plane strain condition is there, we have to replace this yield strength by this sigma y dash, which is equal to 2 by root 3 times sigma yt. Y3, this is yt, it is very important 
when we are going to have the force calculation generally please remember in case of the rolling operation the sigma y get replaced by this 2 by root 3 times sigma y t okay so we will discuss there in the rolling operation where it is needed we will discuss this so this is the plastic deformation and yield criteria very important based on this many times uh, we get the questions let us discuss some questions on this basics of metal casting continued so dear students let us have these examples we will solve it based upon this plastic deformation and yield criteria let us see the first question the uniaxial yield stress of the material is 300 mega pascal according to one mice's criteria the shear yield stress in the mega pascal we have to write the answer there okay so this is gate 2015 question so we know that by this one mice's criteria how to find out this shear yield strength of the material that is k value is equal to what it is 1 upon root 3 times of yield strength of the material or 0 0.577 times yield strength of the material that is 0 0.577 times yield strength is how much 300 mega pascal what is the answer calculate so it is 0 0.577 into 300 so it is 1 73.1 mega Pascal. So this is the K for this example by one mice's criteria. Let us see this example. In metal forming operation, when the metal has just started yielding, the principal stresses are sigma 1 is 180 mega Pascal plus 180, sigma 2 minus 100 mega pascal and sigma 3 is equal to 0 by the following one mice by following one mice criteria the yield stress they are asking the yield stress is how much we know that this 2 times sigma yt square is equal to c is our what we have seen this that is sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square so therefore what is sigma yt 1 upon root 2 into to bracket sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square plus sigma 2 minus sigma 1 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square to the power half if we calculate this or put the values here 1 upon root 2 sigma 1 is how much plus 180 plus 180 minus of minus 100 whole square plus sigma 2 minus 100 sigma 2 minus sigma 3 here sigma 3 0 it is whole square plus into bracket sigma 3 0 that is plus 180 that is minus 180 whole square to the power half so it is 280 square plus 100 square plus 180 square root of the answer divided by root 2 that is 245.76 245.76 mega pascal so this is your sigma right yield strength of the material kitni hai 245.76 so uh, such a type of questions they are asking in the examination so very easy okay